as you can see, this organ is r rather large uh, for the, the, uh, the volume of the room. If you are familiar with uh, typical uh, pipe organs in uh, churches today. And this is also true uh, considering uh, the 18th century standard. And the, if the normal church, uh, normal congregation church, uh, has uh, uh, this kind of volume, organ could be about half size or maybe two thirds of the size. On the other hand, there are many, uh, at the same time, uh, there are many examples in, in Europe that in the chapel and the castle, uh, if the owner of the castle uh, is very interested in uh, music program, then they spend quite large amount of money for the instruments, uh, including organ, um, so that you could find uh, many quite elaborated, uh, both visually and uh, musically, um, large, uh, sort of unusually large organs for the given volume of the room. So it's nothing really special about it, or very appropriate for Cornell, a place like Cornell, uh, uh, who are very um, musically uh, sort of educated people uh, in, in order to serve such people uh, in a variety of music, it's quite appropriate to have the organ like this uh, with uh, uh, many possibility for the variety. Uh, like I said though, uh, for m majority of modern organists or, or uh, organ music lovers, this may be a very narrow, uh, narrowed down, uh, sort of very specific style. Uh, that the, the only certain music maybe can be played and so on. But uh, if you look at, if you just change the sort of the way to look at this, this has uh, such a wide, very wide variety uh, uh, of the music can be covered on this organ. Uh, 